never imagined that Christian women in media would be what it is today. You know, starting with four people and then just seeing God work in amazing ways year after year after year. And now at, at, at 20 years into it, how God has just raised up an amazing work an amazing organization of amazing women. What can I say? I never imagined when you talk to our, uh, the women, uh, you know, when I'm out there at the events and so forth, I just, I just am thrilled and, uh, at what God is doing in their lives and that their part to give their energy and their wisdom to making what Christian Women in Media is today. We started as women in Christian broadcasting because we were just television. But then we branched out to be Christian women, whether secular media or, or uh, Christian media, and taking not just going from television to include social media, to include radio, to include the arts, to include, uh, of course, publishing and writing and all of it. So it encompasses, it's not just one uh, venue of media. It's women that are represented uh, in many avenues. God has placed us in a, with a niche audience, first of all, of women who are in media, but it's independent women that need this gathering together, that need the connection, that uh, we inspire, we equip, and we also connect. And that connection is so important. It's vibrant in Christian women in media and all that we do. And we have something going on every single month. A few years after I started, I had many women coming to me and saying, well, why don't you start something here? Or why don't you start something in my town or my state? And at the time, we only had six regions. But now that we have Zoom, people can come in from around the world. We've had international from Germany and Italy and different countries, as well as U.S. women that are in places where they can't get to a live Connect meeting. And then the culmination is at the end of the year, or right now we're doing, going to be doing it in the spring, where we gather together. People come in from all over and we gather together for a tremendous conference. And God moves in those conferences in amazing ways. I love to see the passion. Our women are so passionate about what they do. And it's exciting because they, that passion comes from God. And when God speaks to our hearts to do something, he gives us the passion to fulfill that call. Christian Women in Media is different because I've been told this, that we love each other. They sense the love of God uh, working through each one of us. We're all leaders, believe me. A lot of us are A-type, including myself. Producers, directors, writers, uh, bloggers, uh, podcasters, you name it, they're doing it. But it's amazing how we all get along. We want to help each other. Because that's what Christ does. When you have Christ dwelling in your heart, you want to give. You want to give to others. And it's time for the leaders to come and to receive because they're constantly giving out, whether they're in television production or they're writing their book or traveling and speaking. They're all speakers, top speakers. So we, uh, you know, we provide that oasis in the middle of, the, of this industry where they can come our women can come and be fed, our members come and be fed and nurtured, but yet interact and connect with each other to help each other. If uh, I have a book, I may need some interviews. So you meet women that have their own shows and you, you get an interview on the show. Or if you need bookings, that's the place to do it. Or whatever it is, uh, God just does it. And I call it divine appointments that I would meet someone that he would appoint. And I don't always know why, you know, but you'll figure it out afterwards of why that person, why was, why were they introduced to, to me? So it's very exciting. It's so funny because people say about me, if uh, you talk to Sue Ellen, watch out, she's going to recruit you for something. 
And that's so true that uh, when I'm talking to someone, if they have the skills and if they have the wherewithal and they're open to helping, I'm going to ask them to help. That's how we have this amazing volunteer organization. So I love that connecting and networking with women uh, all over and how God just leads to uh, speaking with someone about why don't you become part and help us in this particular uh, area. When you follow the Lord in doing what he's called you to do, it's not always easy. I would like to say that, uh, you know, it's continual happiness and joy and all of that. Yes, that's part of it. But there are also trials. And that's the thing that grows us in God. And I found with Christian Women in Media, in the beginning, it was a struggle. Financially, it was a struggle. We didn't have the money we needed to do what we needed to do. And then also, you know, it's hard getting something up and running to get people to come. I was new as I had moved it from Charlottesville to Dallas, Christian Women in Media, and starting there to get people to come and to uh, calling and doing all the groundwork, so to speak, that you need to do. But I would say the most difficult part was the finances, trusting God, and God allowed that because he was growing something in me. He wanted me to trust him. You know, I can get out and beat the bushes, but God wanted to provide in his way, not Sue Ellen's way. So Sue Ellen had to learn how to depend on God more fully. So we go through the hard times with anything, life, but God is the one that teaches us to trust him no matter what the situation is. And God grows us. That's how we get to know him more fully. God grows us in those hard times as we depend on him. And I look back now after 20 years and I remember those times. But then again, I see the goodness of God, how he moved beyond Sue Ellen into amazing ways of bringing women along, the finances, members joining, all of those things to be able to grow. But he's faithful and all that training we get back in the early days helps us to get through to the next level. Uh, for many years, I've been behind the computer, you know, organizing through the computer and through texting and through emails and through all of that. But the biggest reward is in organizing these events, as I have done, now we have an, a wonderful a team of women that are doing it. But uh, to go to the event is the payoff. That's the most rewarding thing for me, to get out of the office and at the event and see God work and see the excitement in the women's uh, faces and what they're saying to me and what they're saying to each other and just listening to the speaker and just seeing it all come to pass. That to me is the reward and I know also, the, the, the even greater reward is that the women that are gathering desire to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. And to me, to be able to build the kingdom of God is so rewarding. The most important thing that I did to grow Christian women in media was to pray. That is the basis of everything we do, and particularly with Christian women in media, bringing people together, bringing women together. We started a prayer call years ago, and every single week on Thursday morning, we are on that prayer call. I look forward to it. It's a highlight of my week, hearing women from all over the country pray and intercede and in our personal lives, that's the most important thing that I could do as a leader in leading Swimmer is to pray daily for his will, pray for the members, pray for his leadership. What's the next step? Where are we going? What are we going to do? And to hear from God. So prayer to me, a prayer covering is key for the growth of Christian women in media. What I'm hoping for and dreaming for is for Christian women in media to continue growing. 
under spiritual leadership. And I believe that sometimes it takes change. And sometimes a leader, like myself, can stay in a, in a, as head of an organization too long. And I really feel change is good. And I'm at the 20-year mark, and God has led me to step away and have a whole new leadership, wonderful leadership team, to move it forward. And I really believe that it will explode and grow way beyond me and my leadership. I believe God's hand is upon Christian women in media and that the growth is even yet to come, better yet, as uh, they follow after the Lord in their leadership. So I'm thrilled to continue to be the founder and an advisor, uh, but I just foresee the future to being far beyond. You know, there's a scripture that says the latter house will be far greater than the former house. So that's my dream. The next step in my life, God willing, uh, as founder and advisor to Christian Women in Media, that's been uh, so much my life. Now God is leading me to be executive producer of Struck. It's a streaming series of eight episodes, and it's an amazing story. It's about Dr. John D. Morris, who did 13 expeditions up Mount Ararat in Turkey. He was struck by lightning and miraculously survived. So we're going to tell his story, but intertwining the story will be the story of Noah and Noah and the ark and how two men were obedient to God and what God did through their lives. In starting Christian Women in Media, we had a mission statement, and then of course, God gave us a verse of scripture. And Queen Esther, the crown has always been our symbol. It's Esther 4:14. 4, I really believe that God raised up Christian Women in Media for such a time.